My name is Stefan Weiss and I'm a film editor in Germany and on the one hand I edit films and on the other hand I, uh, I'm a trainer. I'm a trainer for non-linear editing systems and also a consultant uh, for digital workflows and file handling. Currently I'm working on a project looking for a sign and that's a long-term documentary about reincarnation and it's the first ever project which filmed a person in two lives. So in his past life and in his actual life. If you're doing a long-term documentary of course you always face the challenge uh, to get a mixture of footage from different filming technologies. We started at 60 mm in 1987 then uh, Beta SP, Mini DV, it came to HDV and stuff like that. So the main challenge for this project is to decide the framing of this old material because it's all 4x3. We tried to keep the 4x3 and to stitch the background with After Effects and track them around to extend the image in a natural way, but to keep the whole 4x3. I would have had the choice to start in Premiere Pro. It would have helped a lot because uh, it can handle all the different file formats. You can throw it into the timeline and just hit play. And you don't have to transcode everything and you don't lose your compressions. For me as an editor, it's not a big challenge to change the NLE just from Avid to Premiere Pro because Premiere Pro is pretty intuitive and it combines a lot of techniques from the Avid Media Composer as well as from Final Cut 7. When I work in with Premiere Pro, um, there's a, just a little feature I love the most. It's called uninterrupted uh, playback and it's just a little thing but uh, for me as an editor it's a huge thing because when you start the playback, you can interact in the timeline and you can interact with effects without having to stop the playback and that helps a lot if you're with a client or you just want to watch your movie and do some little changes in real time. I love the After Effects integration to Premiere Pro because it's so quick to just do some changes and the possibilities of After Effects are huge. I also love this Lumetri integration from last year which is really great. The results are much better than in, in other systems because the engine from Speedgrade is so so much better to the color. I don't know why but it's I get the better results. The main value of the Creative Cloud for me is that I get everything I need. I just change the applications and there it is. If I need some visual effects, I go to After Effects and I can put it into my timeline. I can use Premiere Pro as a basis and just drop in everything I need from audio to graphics to color, whatever. And it's that quick that it really makes fun to work with.